The Stalking Monster, written by Tressa Graves. They were one now, living life through each other. He was part of her life and did everything possible to remind her of just that, each and every day. She remained unharmed, only because he allowed it. He controlled her safety and freedom and proved it in having snatched her away. As Michelle wiped her wet hair from her face, she heard the advice of the police and others run through her mind. The advice given in the early stages seemed incredibly pointless at this time, even more so now. The advice came across as obnoxious, but now, as she sat where she did, it was even harder to think about. Block him, Michelle. Ignore him. He will get bored and leave you alone. Michelle busted into tears as those words echoed through her head so loud she got a headache. She put her hand over her ears and began screaming as she hit the sides of her head. It wasn't until Rod Hunter began sending pictures of her throat slashed that the authorities finally took her seriously.